So now that we got our intro and we got our verse, we know that this is the hook. We start to add a little bit of air candy into it. So I throw my tag in there. I throw my tag in there about right there. That's on the second bar. And then from there, I'll just do it every two bars or every four bars. It depends on how it sounds. But for this, I'm going to do it every four bars. And then to make it easy, I'll just copy it, control C, put it on the next marker, and then hit control V. I'll copy it again, control C, then I'll put it on the next marker, control V to paste it. And then I'll just, I'll either leave it because I'm going to extend the beat. So let's see what the air candy sound like. Actually, when I do the intro, my intro doesn't have any drums. So I take the drums out. I remove the drums. I'll take out the percussion. So we go T-I because I'll just take out half the percussion, T-T. So that way the track is building up as we get into the intro. Hit delete, hit delete. Actually, all of this is going. That's going to be there. So the intro will be something like this. I stand with the general. You know what I'm saying? So now let's get into a let's let's add a quick transition. Let's add this transition right here. Let's stretch the screen out. Let's actually put this on the you know the bar itself so that way we could stretch it out to the tempo. And once we stretch it out to the tempo, I know I usually put it up in this area, this last bar right before the verse kick in. So we're gonna drag this over. I stand with the general. So now that we got the uh, our transition, now we got to place them in, in each one of the spots. So transitions go every eight bars or every four bars, depending on your tempo. So if the tempo is slower, you will put them at every four bars. If the tempo is faster, you'll put them at every eight bars. It's it's essentially the same thing. So we're going to copy this and put this at the nine. Then we're going to copy these two, command C, and then put this right here on the... So now we got our transitions every eight bars. So when you put these transitions, you want to put them, you could put them every two, four, or eight bars, but you, depending on how it sounds, if it sounds too repetitive, you just want to space them out. So for this slower type tempo, I'm just going to space them out at every four bars. So I have my first transition kind of offset it at, at four bars, and then I have my second transition setting at another four bars. So essentially every eight bars, we're going to have about two or three air candy type sounds to help your beat move forward. So let's see what this sounds like. I stand with the general. I stand with the general. So right here, I would want to take this out to about right there for both of them. I'm going to do that on all of them. So let's see what this... I said Let me see something. Take that out a little bit more so that way we don't hear no extra sounds. I'll get this to sound like how these drum sounds. Really, what I would do is I'll go TI, I will copy this drum or cut this drum, TT, then I will copy this, then I will option click so I could create a new track. I'll just line it up. That way I have the same drum sound when I'm doing my transitions and it sound like this. So that's how you solve that problem. So now we got our transitions every eight bars. We got our air candy every eight bar. We know how we're going to make our transitions drums match. And this is not even with EQ and this is just for right now. 